Çeldi geve tokuyuruk. Ben ellildi geve tokuyuruk. Ellildi. Ha, ellildi geve tokuyuruk. Nenem balaca işaretliydik. Nenem anam tokuyurdu. Kasfılığıydı. Ne olacak? O, örgendik. Öyle o, o vaxtdan örgendik. Bu vaxtda tana gene tokuyuruk. So Rewoven is a carpet weaving project in the Azeri part of Georgia that the purpose is to revive this ancient craft that has been all but lost and also to provide uh, income generation opportunities for uh, the weavers, for those women who are still involved with this craft. So we started Rewoven about four years ago. Um, it was a very slow start as we first began to look for women who we're still weaving carpets, and there are only a very small handful uh, in the entire region. Um, and upon finding them, uh, we put beautiful hand-spun yarn uh, in their hands, along with designs that were woven in this region in centuries past. Um, and from that humble beginning of uh, first just looking for, for weavers and knocking on many doors, um, now we have weaving happening in two villages. Uh, they're all woven at home, so there's no factory or workshop. Um, and the women who want to weave are, are increasing um, all the time. We're in the village of Kosolar. It's in the Tetriskado region of Georgia. And while all the other villages in this region, all the Azeri villages in this region have given up on weaving, this village hasn't. And carpet weaving is a way that families, and particularly women, have been able to help provide uh, for their family for for likely centuries, but definitely even for decades. And so uh, for the women here in this village, carpet weaving is an important part of their um, livelihood. The dyes are a very important uh, part of, of a carpet. Um, natural dyes were used, were the only dyes, until synthetic dyes were invented in the mid 19th century. And that was really a, a watershed event for carpets, because if you look at antique textiles, um, that is basically where the line is drawn between what is collectible and what is not, what is desirable and what is not. Uh, because with the synthetic colors um, came a lot of garish colors um, that weren't as harmonious as the beautiful natural dyes. So certainly the most important part of, of the project uh, are the, the women, the families that I am able to come into contact with. Um, they are so hospitable. Uh, you can't come to their homes without being served tea and possibly a large meal. Um, the friends that I've been able to make, uh, the, the people that I've been able to meet are the biggest, the biggest joy and, and pleasure of this uh, project. Uh, but also we look at pride with all the carpets that we've made. Uh, now we're on our 90th carpet or so with the humble beginnings of just completing some 13 in the first year. Uh, we're really uh, proud of the growth, growth that we've been able to see and the lives that have been touched by it and that uh, at least day by day that we're able to preserve uh, this craft uh, for the next generation. The plans for the future is just continuing uh, as we're going. Uh, when we started this, we didn't know how many women we were going to get to weave, uh, but a, a, we're seeing great things happening. So we just want to continue on that path, which is uh, more women are weaving today than ever have before. And we're seeing that as uh, the older generation that still knows how to weave uh, is taking on this craft again, that their daughter-in-law, that their, their granddaughter, even grandsons are joining them at the loom, are learning to weave with them. And so even just organically, we're seeing um, this, this craft being passed on to the next generation. So we just want to continue to invite more women to weave, continue to make uh, more carpets at the uh, level of excellence that we've been able to up to this point, and, um, and be able to share them uh, with the world.